So uh, congratulations on your, um, you know, uh, in your discussion at AUA plenary. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was really exciting to present the data. We're trying to get it published right now. Uh, and so we thought we had a line at getting it published in JAMA and it just didn't work out. So we're on to the next one. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, I heard great things about you and I, I know you're at the University of Washington at Fred Hutch. And so um, uh, how long have you been at uh, Fred Hutch? Uh, I started at UW in the Hutch in 2009. So I'm wow. 16 years in. Time flies. And I know that's a, a world leading institution. So it's really great. We, I, I feel very lucky to work here. Great colleagues, great collaborators, great institution. It's been really awesome. But yeah, is, is there anything else besides the Cisco? Because I want to be mindful if you want to talk about anything else, I can talk, we can talk about it as well. We, I mean, I'm happy. You know, one thing about Cisco is it's the data that we presented is just one year data. But we do have um, uh, funding to get two and five year outcomes. So all that we presented at the AUA was one year data, but it is a cohort that we're going to continue to get follow up on. And so we'll be able to get essentially five year outcomes on everybody in the cohort, which is very exciting. Oh, wow. That's great. And then I, I like when you mentioned, I guess, about the uh, the bladder can and the patient advocacy group. Yeah. And, and so uh, how, how did that tie in? So I wasn't quite sure. So we, so this, the story of Cisto started back in, I think about 2014. Um, and so we, I've always, I've worked with Beacon since 2010 and um, they had us running a, a working group within Beacon on patient reported outcomes and health policy. And um, we had just observed that within their chat room, they had thousands of really engaged patients. And so we talked about creating essentially like a patient survey network out of that patient community. And along came PCORI. So around that time, PCORI started. And we got one of their first ever engagement awards uh, to create what we called the Beacon PSN, the Bladder Cancer Advocacy Network Patient Survey Network. And what we had applied for to align with what PCORI was trying to do was to do research prioritization. So we did this big effort with over a thousand patients where we learned what research questions were important to patients. And then we took all those questions and sent them to funders. So we sent them to NCI and DOD and all these different funders and PCORI made it a priority area. So PCORI basically took our priority topic and said, you know, we want to fund something in this area. And so basically like this was the incoming call. And so, um, so we put together the Cisto team and the Cisto study design um, and that's also something where we were able to take advantage of that beacon partnership. So when we wanted to say, gosh, what are some study design considerations we need to think about? What are some outcomes we need to think about? We were able to go to the same cohort of engaged patients and they gave us some really great insights that have informed the study design. So one unique thing about Cisto is it's an observational study. It's not an RCT. And, and that's because patients told us that, you know, only about 10% of patients would be willing to randomize to an RCT. And so we'd rather get, you know, lower level evidence than no evidence. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.